You know, today marks 60 years since a bomb planted by the Ku Klux Klan exploded inside a Birmingham church, killing four little girls, and it's one of the darkest days in civil rights history. Tonight, 11 Alive's Brittany Kleinpeter is taking us through Atlanta's National Center for Civil and Human Rights. She shares how they're shining a light on the significance of today. In the bottom floor of Atlanta's National Center for Civil and Human Rights sits this display. What they're looking at is four stained glass window panes that have the faces of those four young girls. Images truly worth a thousand words. The words that people read, that's the eulogy that Dr. King gave three of the four young girls at their funeral. It was around 10 a.m. on this day 60 years ago that those four little girls were gathering at church. On September 15th, early Sunday morning in Birmingham, Alabama, the Ku Klux Klan set bombs and dynamite outside of the 16th Street Baptist Church and ended up blowing a hole in the church. Not only did they blow a hole into the side of the church, but they murdered four young girls, Addie Mae, Cynthia, Carol, and Denise. A fifth girl was also in that room, the sister of Addie Mae, Sarah Collins Rudolph, who was injured but survived. 11 Alive spoke with her back in 2020. And in my eyes, and the glass was in, in my chest. It was an act of terror and a turning point in the civil rights movement that shocked the country. And now, 60 years later, there remains a sense of urgency to preserve this history. I think I survived because uh, God wanted somebody to tell a story. That's a very important story and should be told right. Preserving history so our past doesn't dictate our future. Reporting in Atlanta, Brittany Kleinpeter, 11 Alive News.